With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with the question which says the effective resistance between P and Q of the electrical circuit shown in figure is. So we need to calculate the effective resistance between the point P and Q. So uh, let's try to analyze the given circuit. As we can see, uh, this point, this point and this point will have the same potential because there is no element uh, being present in between these three points. Alright, so what we can do over here is uh, we can just uh, redraw this figure as this resistance will be shifted toward uh, this side and what I am doing is shifting this resistance towards this side. Alright, so uh, this connection will be lost over here. So this is the circuit uh, how the circuit will look after this connection is joined because all the three points are having the same potentials. So now from here we can see uh, let's suppose that this is our resistance 1, resistance 2, this is resistance 3 and resistance 4. Alright, so uh, we can check uh, now if R1 by R2 is equals to R3 by R4. So we can say the circuit, uh, this circuit will be balanced and there will be no role of this resistance uh, will be considered. Alright, so let's check. So from here we can see R1 is R, so we can say R by R and that is equals to R by R. So this implies that uh, this part of the circuit is balanced. So we can say circuit is balanced and under balanced condition this resistance can be neglected so uh, what uh, what we are going to uh, get from here is this resistance will be r and this resistance will come in series with this r and here this resistance will be r and this will come in series with this resistance and these are connected with a resistance that is given above and here it is our point Q and here it is our point P. Alright, so let's put the values that is R, 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 R and R. So uh, if we try to uh, draw the equivalent circuit now, so we can uh, we can get after further simplifying this, these two resistance are in uh, series so they will get uh, added and this two resistance also will get added up so what we are going to uh, get is so we are drawing it over here itself so here it is our one resistance r here it is point q here it is point p and here the resistance r and here we can draw this resistance will be this both the resistance that is r plus r so we will write it as 2r over here and again this two resistance will be in series so we will again add them up so this will again be 2R and here it is the point Q alright so from uh, here we can see uh, this two resistance uh, three of the resistance are in parallel so again we will simplify it further so let's keep this resistance as it is and here it can be written as since this 2R resistance and 2R resistance are in parallel so we can write uh, their equivalent can be written as uh, 4R square by 4R and that is nothing but R alright so we can see uh, here it is R and here it is R both are in parallel so we can write the equivalent resistance between P and Q since both are in parallel so again we will write uh, R equivalent will be R square by 2 R and that is nothing but R by 2. So this is the answer to this question that is the effective resistance between point P and Q is R by 2. So I hope you have understood the concept well and thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.